Hello everyone, welcome to our learning series of how to use Unreal Engine for architectural visualization. In this video, we're going to continue in our subject, the widget slide design, for our project example. In our previous videos, we have created the function for the two buttons, the option and the render. In this video, we're going to continue on creating a function for the cinematic button, and we're going to start by creating a widget and call this cinematic. And this is basically where we're going to have our video displayed on here. So going back again, sorry, to our selection menu, we're going to choose the cinematic button. We're going to go to the events and click on the unclicked. And we're going to select the previous uh, blueprints we have added to the renders and control W to duplicate it and connect and choose our widget cinematic and compile so now if we hit the cinematic button we're gonna move to the next widget and let's start by importing our files this is the video and the audio of our video okay so now that we have imported our video and our audio i'm gonna right click and create a media file or a media player and as you can see we just have only the video output media texture assets earlier in its uh, unreal engine uh, earliest ver versions the audio was supported also in the media player but now it was it, it has been separated okay so we're gonna name this sorry arc this i'm gonna double click it and make sure that the video is playing correctly okay so now this is the video that is we're gonna show on our widget and make sure that you click on the loop so if you want to keep the video uh, repeat itself while playing okay the next thing we're gonna go back go we're gonna go back to our uh, cinematic widget and we're gonna drag our texture that was created automatically after adding the media player into our canvas and go to the anchor and choose a full screen and zero all the offsets of the corners okay now we're gonna start creating uh, a node to play the video so I'm gonna drag from the event construct open source we're gonna need to uncheck the context sensitivity so we can have our media player open source node I'm gonna choose the archvis the file that we have imported and then move from this target or I can just create a variable directly and call this a media file and make sure that our variable type is a media player and then we're gonna compile to be able to choose our media file and then we're gonna drag our media file get our the, the node and connect it to the target and hit compile so now we can have a little test and see how this is going to go if the video is going to play once we click on the cinematic button okay so if we click on the cinematic you can see that the video is running but there is no sound associated with it so we're going to go back to our widget and we're gonna need to add our sound to play with the video at the same time so I'm gonna drag from the event construct and create a sequence so to be able to create a sequence of events and the one that I'm looking for is called spawn sound 2d make sure that you choose the spawn sound 2d not the play sound and then I'm gonna create choose our sound that we have imported and promote this to a variable call and name our variable as sound okay so let's compile go back again and hit, do our test see if the sound will come with the video okay so if we click the cinematic now so as you can see voice 
find a way that we, when we click a specific button, we can go back to our previous widget slide. And to do that, we're going to go to our designer and choose our video image. And go down to the events and choose a create binding. This is going to create an event, uh, a function uh, on a mouse button. So we need to define, for example, that when we hit our right mouse button, we're going to go back to our previous slide. So I'm going to drag a node from the mouse button. And that's going to be branch. And this is basically to give us a true and false uh, event. I'm going to drag from the mouse event is mouse button down. And you can choose whatever is the button you want to uh, use for, to return to the previous slide. In my case, I'm going to choose right mouse button. Connect this to the condition. So, and I'm going to put the return node to the false. And from the true, I'm going to drag and uh, create the same blueprints that we create to return to the previous uh, slide or to the next one. So in our case here, I'm going to drag from the true and we want to go back to our selection menu. Let's compile and let's make a small test and see how this is going to go. So, if we hit cinematic, you can see now that the video is playing, so if we right click, you can see we went back, but my, uh, the sound was still going. So, we have a small warning here that we can create unhandled. So, if we compile this, and then we're going to create a sequence also from the branch just to create another um, condition. So I'm gonna drag and call this node, this Troy, and it should be destroy component. I'm gonna drag our sound component and connect it to the target and hit compile. And let's make our test. So this is a, a preferable way to do it instead of putting a button on top of the video. So in ca some cases it can be uh, disturbing. So if we click on the cinematic, minus minus, so we right click, you can see that now we went back to our previous slide. So this is basically how, you, how we can add a video to our uh, ArcVis presentation using the widget. And in the next video, we're going to start talking about the walkthrough and how we're going to add our uh, control points over our uh, real-time uh, interaction. So, hope this video was uh, useful for you and uh, see you in the next video. Thank you very much.